Sometimes I just get an idea from a Facebook page or a commercial on TV or something. And so I had made this effect of trying to make a cartoony type of character in video. And so I just played around with a few of the different effects like the filters and I tried glitch, ended up with turbulence and then with color fill. So I won't show the whole project, but I can show you how I created the character in the more black and white and outlined form because you can't put an outline on a character. I will show you right here that you can't do that. So it would be really nice if we could um, outline. I don't even know why outline isn't even showing here. You can put a shadow um, and other different features, but you can't do an outline on it. So first I will show you that. Let me grab one of the presets I have just so um, we have that. I'm going to blow her up a little bit just so we can see. I actually didn't make the outline part till the end because I'll explain after when you do all the animations, you want to make sure that they're all the same. But what you're going to do is you're just going to select the character, duplicate it. I used Command D. You also can just click right there. Now I'm going to move her, the top one, to the side so all I see is the bottom Lenka. I'm going to go up to Effects and Components. I'm going to go down to, whoop, I went by it, Color Fill. Click and drag it to my bottom character. And I'm just going to change her to white. There you go. Then when I bring over the top um, character. We don't see the white yet. So we want to play around and sometimes it can look a little messy as you're adding action. So you, you're going to want to play around with this. But what you do is you go to properties and right now it's at 176, the scale of the character. So I'm going to just try it a little bit. So let's see what 178 looks like. That doesn't look too bad. So let me just put an action that we can, that has some um, movement towards it. Idea can have some. And I'm going to change both of them. And that's why I actually wait until I'm done. And then I make the background of the white one. But just to show you here. So as we go, we have a little bit of an outline. But it might be nice to have a little bit more. So we can go back into our bottom character. And maybe put it up to 180. Let's see what that looks like. That might be good. So you definitely can just check it out based on what actions you use and all of that. So that's what, that's just how you make the quick outline. But to make the character not be in color or look as adorable as she looks, what we're going to do, she'll still look adorable, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into Effects and Components. I'm going to go into Filters to the top character and I just chose sepia so it made the black and white the black and white it's oh wait no I actually used black and white hmm see I I forgot often I only use sepia because the black and white doesn't look so great but the black and white helps it to look more cartoony or in that in that um, fashion then when I originally did this I thought when you go up to components and effects in the effects, I thought I was going to use the glitch, but that actually was not a good idea. I played around and I used turbulence, so I grabbed it and dropped it on her. Now we can preview it by hitting start. Right there, it's way too much, right? I mean, look at her. She's getting all deformed. We don't want it to be that strong. So I actually don't even really remember what frequency I used on my previous one. Let's see. 
I had a smaller scale and a smaller frequency. Um, so let's see how those look. But again, I played around with it so much that you're going to want to do that same thing to find whatever effect you want. And now I don't even really remember what the numbers were. Um, but let's just see. Let's see how that looks. That might still be too much. Um, and you can also play around with the speed and see how that looks. What I did notice is the first time I did it on the app, it looked okay. And then when I rendered it, it really was too much. So I went in and I reduced it. So you're gonna play around with what effect you want. And if you're close up, it's gonna look a little bit more that actually doesn't look too bad because her face isn't getting deformed, but you're getting a little bit of the um, sparkle and the glitch type of effect in the outline. And that's really what I was looking for. So that's really all you're going to do. Now, the reason I said that I don't do this character underneath for the outline until after is because say I have her doing an idea and then I have her walking and I set up all the animations to walk. I'm gonna do that really quickly. Um, and she's gonna walk off the screen, right? If I try to recreate those exactly with the second image underneath, it's going to be a little trickier to do. I'm going to have to take more time. I'm going to have to do all of that. So really what I do is I get rid of that. I do everything with my first image. And once I'm done creating everything, then I duplicate. Then I change the color fill to white. And then I make it if you go to 180, I think, then I make that. And doing those three steps is so much easier than trying to recreate. If you had 10 actions or a few different scenes, you're going to have to recreate all of the keyframes, all of the positioning, and that's just nuts. Um, the one thing I did notice is poor Lenka. With the white, she seems to have a little bit of an underarm stain, and that's just the shadowing. And so it was uh, made more pronounced in the making it black and white. So I might look at if I were doing this for something more um, professional or something, I might look at the color of the outfit I used or whatever and the actions and just to make sure that it didn't stand out like that. But that's really all I did. And then I just had done the same basic thing to the background. So I had taken a restaurant I know I wanted a night scene and I don't want to take too much time hunting for this so I'm just going to grab one to show. So if we grab um, I don't have that downloaded. Let's grab one I have downloaded. So if I have the background, and of course I pick one that has multiple things. So I'm just going to get rid of the, those placeholders. First I went in and I changed it. This is where you'll want to play. You might want the black and white. You might want the sepia. And of course, if you know... Um, Photoshop and all of that, you're going to be able to do this much more clever um, and probably more precise, but I don't know all of those. So I just had, I changed that. You can change some of the um, opacity. So you're gonna, you can play with it a little and see what you want. And then I did the same thing as I added the turbulence and then I just played around with um, how much I wanted it to have that turbulent effect. So you can play around with it and it might be lower than the characters, but it depends on how prominent you want the background to look. 
It doesn't even look like it's doing much of anything. So I probably put it down too much. Um, that might be too much. So again, you're just going to play with it to find the effect that you want. And she is driving me up. I got to get out of there. She's driving me crazy because she's too big standing in the middle of the screen like that. I'm going to move her down so she doesn't look so out of place. I don't know why that was bothering me. But that's how you do the background effect. And maybe it'll give you an idea and I'd love to see them. Happy creating.